hearing the news of the death of his 30 sons on day 2 of the battle. Bandasura was filled with hate and cruelty. He orders his brother, Vishukra, to use the Jayavignayantra on the Shakti armies. The Yantra would make the Devis unwilling to fight. Seeing that the Shakti armies are protected by a fence of fire, Vishukra sneaks into a nearby bush and prepares the Jaya Vigna Yantra on a stone, which he throws amid the Shakti armies. The Yantra invokes laziness, meanness, depression, slumber, weakness, forgetfulness, inattention, and indifference in the Devis. Instantly, the Devis become unwilling to fight and begin revolting. Confused by their behavior, the Shakti chiefs report the matter to their queen, the ever calm Lalitambika. Lalithamba looks lovingly into the eyes of her husband, Lord Kameshwara, and he smiles back. This divine union leads to the creation of Mahaganpati. Well equipped with the weapons of war, Mahaganpati picks the yantra up with his mighty trunk and chews it into powder, making it useless. Instantly the affected Shakti armies rise from their hypnosis and take up arms. Led by Mahaganpati, the Shakti warriors attack and succeed in killing many Asura armies. Scared by this, Vishukra flees the battle. After the victory, Lalithamba gives Mahaganpati a boon stating that no puja will ever be fruitful unless he is first invoked and worshipped. 